Good morning, guys. <clears throat> it's Cody here at the Bar 7 Ranch. I'm sitting in the Ranger waiting on Clancy to get through, getting dressed and ready to go for the morning. We're getting a late start. We've had lots of stuff going on for the last few months with football and all that kind of stuff, getting up and leaving early. and So we kind of slept in an extra hour or so this morning. So we just got through eating breakfast and we're fixing to get started for the day. We've got a couple of projects to work on today. Um, we're going to build a portable livestock guardian dog feeder. So most of the time we keep our sheep here around the house pretty close. There comes old Clance. And, uh, but we've got them moved up to some pastures that are further away from the house. And we want to be able to leave our feeder up there so that the dogs aren't coming back to the barn to eat like they do right now. All right, so we're in the shop now and we're gonna kind of lay out what kind of design we want to build. Hey, can you stop doing that and making all that racket? So we're in the shop now, we're gonna kind of lay out what kind of design we want to, you know, we've got a couple of different ways to build this. Um, really only one way to build it, but we're trying to determine how we want the dogs to get in and out of the feed pen. So um, I doubt anybody else has this problem, but we've got a shop full of junk here that we're gonna have to try to decide what we want to get moved out of the way so we can work this. Clance, tell the, tell the folks what this is. This is a project truck. What, what year model is it? Uh, 1984 Chevy Silverado. That's right, 1984 Chevy Silverado, three quarter ton, um, four wheel drive. We've got the transmission and the transfer case pulled out right now. We had those rebuilt, so the, the four speed manual transmissions right here in the shop floor and uh, I think the transfer cases. Yeah, it's over here on this rack here. So we're in the process of, Clancy's gonna turn 14 this winter in November and uh, we're gonna rebuild. This is actually a truck that I owned before Clancy was born um, and I sold it to an old farmer friend of mine and he drove it for a few years and, and it, it's been sitting under a tree for a long time. So Clancy saw it and wanted it. So we, we made him an offer and bought it. And then uh, we've got a, a donor truck outside that you might have seen in a few videos, a blue and white uh, Chevy pickup, that we're gonna put that body on this, this truck. Uh, this truck was just ragged out, a big hole in the floorboard rotted out, the bed was completely rotted out. Uh, you can see that gas tank over there was, the hanger was rotted out on it. So we've got it tore down, got the front, uh, tore down to the frame. We're gonna pull the engine out, maybe this afternoon, depending on how things go today, um, so that we can, put new seals and gaskets and everything on it. Um, these tires right here are tires. He worked for me last summer and his payment was this set of tires. So he's got a brand new set of tires to put on it. When we get all that done, we'll get the, get the engine put back in, the transmission, the transfer case, put the new body on it. And then he'll have a, his first truck will be a 1984 Chevy square body, three quarter ton four wheel drive, Manuel. So, I think the wind's coming out of the north, which in my shop, this wall faces north. So instead of trying to roll this door up and roll the pickup out of the way to work, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna clean out this, this spot over here. This is a sign from our spec homes. We'll get it moved up, moved out of the way. We'll uh, move this pallet of Chuck Norris water out of the way. And then uh, we can work on that deal right here. We've got the Got the old Hobart wire feed welder right there. And uh, most all of the cuts we're gonna make today will be made with a chop saw. It's gonna be pretty straightforward stuff. And then uh, I'll probably do most of the cutting and measuring and Clancy will do the welding. All right guys, so we got, let's turn it around here. So we got the table cleaned off. We got us a spot to work over there behind Clancy cleaned off. We got most of our metal or everything but the panel here on the back of the truck. So we're gonna construct this little feeder pin, feeder sled, out of this two inch wide by one inch thick rectangle tubing. And the skids underneath it to make it where we can drag it without tearing everything up is gonna made it, be made out of a piece of two and three eighths pipe. So we're gonna do our construction right here on the floor. I'm gonna do all the cutting and everything over here on this table. So we wanted to show y'all real quick our design. So, um, <coughs> So the frame on the top is gonna to be made out of the two and two by one rectangle tubing. 
is going to be all these, you know, is the frame on the top and the two and three eighths pipe is a skid on the bottom. So um, it's going to go all the way to the ground, except at the very front of it is going to be 10 inches from the, from the ground to the bottom bar. And that will allow our dogs to crawl under the front of the feeder, um, but the sheep won't do that. And then, I forgot to add this, so, and then here on the back, we'll have a, a feeder a self feeder on the back of the pen so the dog will crawl in under the front she'll have, they'll have plenty of room here six foot or deep three foot wide to come in here and eat and then they can just crawl back out the front and get out and this will probably be close to we'll probably make it about i don't know maybe four foot tall that looks pretty good so we've kind of got our plan drawn up here so we'll get our chops all set up here on the table and get to work First off, Bob, let's bring in a piece of that. I guess let's, I think let's build the frame first. And then all we gotta do is set it on our skids and weld it to our skids and we're done. Okay, so bring in, first thing we need to do is bring in, start bringing in some of those pieces of. Panel. While Clance is bringing that in, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of my welding table. So <clears throat> once we built our shop and we moved in, this was the first thing I built here at our, at our house. Um, it's a piece of half inch plate. No, that's not half, I think it's three eighths. Um, it's a four by eight sheet. I built it pretty tall because I, I don't like having to bend over a whole bunch and it hurts my back. So I built it too tall for clamps to really work on, but one of these days he'll grow up. So um, <clears throat> it's got plugs on all four corners and then it's just got one main Oh, on the other end. Sorry. Oh, this is. So here I just ran a piece of angle iron across there, and you can hang grinders on it. This is just a little split piece of square tubing. You can stick your clamps in there. Um, but over here, you can see it's got this big power cord. You just plug that into the wall, and then that that gives all four of your outlets all four double outlets on the corner power so you've got power on all corners um, and then of course it's on big metal casters so i can roll it around anywhere in the shop when we're working on it uh, this is kind of where it's home's going to be i think so um <clears throat> but we move it anytime we need to so clance is bringing in the metal what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the frame first get it kind of squared up here on this table and start welding it together. And then I'll build the skids. I'll cut them and get the 45 up on them so it'll slide easy. Then we'll just set the whole frame on top of it, weld it down, and then we'll wrap it with the panel. So let's get that guy right there. There we go. Where do you want them? Um, let's just lay them right here first. All right, so. We need a six foot piece. These are cutting tens. That'll be perfect. Because then that'll leave us four foot. That'll make the upright coming up. So we only need one, two six foot pieces, right? Yeah, and then we'll need to cut the three footers. Let's... And then one, two, three, four, three foot pieces. Four three foot pieces, Dad? Yep. That's our top rail. Knock, knock them out right here so all that metal don't fall out on the floor over there where you're going to. So that's our two top rails. And then we need two, we need three three foot pieces, right? Uh huh. No, four. Because even though that one's going to be 10 inches tall, you still have to have that one. Two tops and two bottoms. Yeah, we need four. That's right. We can always just take a deal and take an add on to it, you know what I mean? Hold on, let me 
plus it's going to have uh, that two inches on the bottom too from the two from the pipe. You got it. You got it on the deal. Push it back to me just a little too much. Must have measured from that end. Get in there, Milwaukee. And that should be all that we got to cut for right now. Do we need to cut the skids yet? The what? The skids. No, I'd say we build the frame first, and then all we got to do is just set the skids down on top of it and weld it to the skids. Does that make sense? We can build this whole frame sitting on this table where it's all good and level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So what we're trying to decide, guys, is that's super easy welding right there. Okay. So if we, as we get ready to build our frame, we've got to decide whether we want our post, our frame, to when it sits down on this piece of of pipe, do we want to set it on here like this, or do we want to turn it sideways like this and set it on here? Now this probably looks better. But then we're going to have to go in here and, and cut a radius on both sides of this and get it to saddle down to saddle down on there, right? Or if we turn it this direction, we don't have to do any saddling at all. I mean, that, there's not too big a gap there to fill with any kind of welder. So I think let's build our frame this direction, like this, with our post, our legs going up like this, and our spot in between them this way. That way we don't have to. We don't have to do any extra work down here and it'll, it's still going to look nice. So that, I think that's the way we're going to do it. So, um, so that's what we're going to get started on. We're going to take a grinder real quick. We're going to put some safety glasses on. We should have been wearing them already, but knock these little burrs off just so everything sets and butts up good and get started on welding it. So I'm going to let you work down here. Here you go. So you're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get on the other end and use the other one. Oh. But all you're gonna do is just. Just make sure that bird's gone, okay? When it's done, put it in the middle, all right? Go ahead. Okay. okay, so let's build the front. Let's build the front first. This part? Yeah. So we're going to use, build us two legs. Put a cross member and a cross member in. So, this cross member needs to be 10 inches off the ground. So, so how, how far up do we need to mark on this leg? Remember, it's going to sit. Leg. Yeah, these are the legs. They're the 40 inch pieces. 10 inches, or no, yeah, 10 inches. It's going to sit on a piece of two and, so, two and three eighths pipe. So. Where's the tape measure? Hey. P oh, wait, how big is the pipe? Two and three eighths, so just say it's two yeah. inches. Two so eight inches. Right, okay, so we need to mark eight inches on two of them, right? Yep. Okay, and then we're gonna, wet, they're gonna go like this. I think we need to put that in this way. No, it's gonna go across the, oh, yeah, yeah. the front. I think we need to put it in like this then that's a pretty smooth spot for the dog to go under versus if we do it this way, we got to get it just right to the front. Plus okay. if he's pushing on that, 
It's stronger this way than it is. Alright, so like that. So okay. So we're gonna this is this is 14 gauge right here, Bob. So let me show you right quick. So on your welder here, when you raise it up, you can gauge your 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 thickness of your material. So we're using 14 gauge right now, and then we are using 035 wire. So if you come to the 14 and go to the 035, it tells you where to put your voltage and your speed. So three and 30. So if we look here on the front of the welder, we're gonna turn this down to three, right there. And then we're gonna put the speed on 30. So this is your wire speed. Sorry about that. Your wire speed and then the voltage. So we got it on three and 30. And then we'll, we'll fine tune that as we weld just to make sure we got it where we like it. Um, you know, that's just a suggestion. It's not necessarily the, where it's gotta be. So um, we're gonna, what we're gonna do, so this'll be the front of the pin. So it's about, um, it's gonna be right at, oh, we made a, might've made a slight error. We, we may have to cut a little bit off of these legs since they're gonna go on the inside, just the, the inside one here at the front. Um, but it's going to be basically three foot wide and then it's going to be 40 inches tall and this is going to be 10 inches off of the bottom of the post and then when we weld it on those runners it's going to add two more inches so it's going to be eight inches it's going to be eight inches off the bottom of the post then a two inch piece of pipe and that'll leave a 10 inch gap underneath the front of the feeder for the guard dogs to crawl under under there and get in there so they can eat so um, we're going to get it tacked up and then we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so we got the frame kind of kind of put together here, kind of squared up and everything. And we've kind of I've tacked it, went around and tacked it. So Clance is going to run a bead along here and then over there. So show them how you're going to work this, Clance. So he's going to go side to side, kind of like in a little circle, just making and work that back and forth in that in that space right there to get a, a good weld in there. So, yeah, that's a pretty good bead, bead my friend. All right, knock I that other one out. I think I need to go a little faster because kind of started to go. No, that's fine. Go ahead and knock that other one out. All right, so with our microphones trying to die on us, I'm gonna go ahead and cut, kill them and uh, we get these things squared up and everything, we'll, we'll come back and let you guys see what's going on next. Here's where we're at since, since we last left you. Um, we've got our frame built with our 10 inch opening here in the front. We, we just did a four inch on the back just to, because that'll line up good with our panels. So we're gonna do now is Clance, get that piece of pipe there and set it on the welding table. This one? Yep. Bend at the knees, not at the back, son. Teach these youngins something. We move that. I got this end. We move that stuff. No, just put that end up there. Ah. These young ones, all they want to do is argue with you when you tell them to do something. Go move those clamps out of the way. So what we've done now, we're getting ready to build our skids that are going to go underneath our feed deal. So. Watch yourself. So what we did here is we cut a 22 and a half degree angle on this piece of pipe. And we're gonna butt it up right there pretty good. And you can see that it'll put just a little bit of angle on it. So when we try to drag it, you know, it'll, it'll pull itself up and get on top of the ground and ride. So that's what we're gonna do right now is weld that baby up. Now this isn't the perfect way to do it. What we should have done is cut a you know, a 22 and a half degree on here also on, sorry, I'm pointing in on, on this side of the pipe too. And then that would have made a 45 and it would probably made a little better skid, but this is going to work just fine. So, okay. Um, we're going to readjust our welder since we're welding on a heavier piece of pipe here, uh, heavier material. And then we're going to get this 
tacked up and get the other one tacked up and, and go from there. So clamps, we need to adjust our welder. So now this is 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. Hang on, I'm gonna knock that off. Okay. 3 sixteenths. Yep, so where's 3 sixteenths? Right there. Okay, and you're gonna run that down to what? We're using an 035 wire. 035, down three. So 540. 540. All right. So he's gonna turn the speed up to 40 first, and then turn the voltage up from three to four, or five, five, yeah, five. So, okay, um, I'm gonna set you guys back. We're gonna get these welded up, and then we'll, what we'll probably do, I haven't decided, but I think it, I don't know if we're gonna set the whole thing up on the welding table here and do the welding on the welding table. That's what I would do just because it's easier for me. But Clance, since he's doing most all the welding, um, he may want to just do it here in the floor of the shop. So um, I'm gonna show y'all some of his welds. Let's see. Some of the first ones weren't too wayno. Let's see, get over here. So he did most of this right here. So get out, don't get in the sun, there you go. So he's got a pretty good bead right there, run. Um, I did that one. Did this one coming down the seam right here. This is a little sloppy, but it's that's, you're going from going from two different, pretty tough right there. So, okay, we're gonna get this welded up and, and uh, then we'll get the top put on. Then all we'll have to have to do is cut some panels and put on the outside, weld them up, and then mount our feed box in there. Ooh. Got one in my helmet. Let me sit on this side. I'll weld this side down. Now that we got that where we want it. Just a little bit. Ooh. Too fast. Stay down on the bottom more. Stop. You, you're burning it out. You, you're not even going to go up to this. You're uh, really just going to the edge and letting it work okay, over. Okay, told me to rock over it. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't explain it word for word exactly. See how that filled it? See how you, Is that here, better? Here you can go normal, but you need to fill that hole. Just... Yeah. I can't see it because there's no light over here. Hot. All right, weld around that, it'll be fine. Just a dog pen, dog feeder. I got too far away from it. Okay. That was a terrible weld. Here you go. Mama, where's that really good weld I had, Dad? What? Look at one of my welds. Hold on. Wow, that was good. I did most of them. Dad just did the tacking. But yeah, that's one of my welds. Is it working? Mm -hmm. All right, what are y'all doing now? Working on getting the dog feeder put in. Now we are, this is gonna be a little deal for that feeder to set on. See if that'll fit in there, bub. Don't set it on it, cause those things aren't welded. Just see if they'll, will it fit between them? That's good, perfect, perfect. Yep, we're done with the mobile dog feeder. So the dogs can crawl in under the front, come up here, use a self feeder, 
and then crawl back out. Crawl back out. That's right. Looks pretty good. Y'all did a good job. All right, let's go put it out. Let's go put it out. Back the ranger up.